C1-C2 fixation for traumatic, C2 fracture and atlantoaxial dislocation by Kalyan Bomakanti. A 48 years old male patient came to emergency department with history of accident four months back. After the accident, he had neck pain and slowly paralysis of his hands and legs. He was not able to walk. He was evaluated with CT scan of neck and MRI scan of neck. As shown in this picture, he has severe compression of spinal cord at the craniovertebral junction. Craniovertebral junction, as the name implies, is the junction between head and neck. He also has fracture of C2 vertebra and atlantoaxial dislocation. C2 fracture can be appreciated in CT scan of neck in neutral position. This is CT scan with neck bent forward. You can see the bone fragment moving forward. This moving bone fracture fragment is responsible for compression of spinal cord. Why is craniovertebral junction surgery very? difficult and complex one. Because it is junction of skull and spinal cord, it is very difficult to reach. 2. Vertebral arteries are major blood vessels supplying the brain. They run within the C1 and C2 bone. So injury to these blood vessels is a possibility during surgery. Injury to these blood vessels can lead to serious results like stroke. 3. Bleeding is very common during this surgery. The patient was operated upon. This is X-ray after surgery. C1, C2 screws can be seen. The atlantoaxial dislocation has been normalized. This indirectly means that there is no more compression on the spinal cord now. One more X-ray showing the C1, C2 screws after surgery. This 3D picture showing the screws and united or fused C1, C2 vertebrae. This is a 3D video after surgery. Post-operatively patient is completely normal and walking to our hospital. He is completely normal after 3 months. These results can be reproduced if the patient arrives early before significant paralysis. The success of surgery depends on the extent of paralysis before surgery and the experience of surgeon in addition to number of other parameters.